my dear students. Hope all of you are doing well. Please take your books with you and follow my instruction whatever I am saying now. So you need to take your EFT book with you and open unit 4. And before entering the class, I am going to show you something on board. Please follow me. So what you can see over there, here lots of people are traveling on board and mostly they are from village. They are called villagers. And what type of boat they are travel on? In Bengali, it's called Dinginoka or Khyanoka. And also in English, it's called country boat. And in our Bangladesh, most of the people like the village people are traveling on it as it is very unavailable in cities area. Okay. So here you can see that one people is smiling over there. So they don't have any tension that what they are doing now. But as most of the literate people lives in Dhaka city, they are always thinking what will happen if they take any negative steps. So from the chapter, we, we are going to study that what is our positive and negative steps we need to take whenever we are traveling. I think all, all of my students have lots of experience by traveling on board whenever you are going to your grand grandparents home right yes but i have a lots of experience on it whenever i was child i used to travel with my mom and dad and with my sister i'm going to the next picture so i think this is very common picture that already you check in newspaper tv social media this type of boards we can see so it's called in bengali what i say dinghi noka or kya noka and our today's topic is a country board or ferry board. What we will read from this unit, that is our learning outcomes. So please follow my students. After starting the lesson, the students will be able to. So you will be able to learn. Please, please, please follow my instruction. Ask and tell about problems. Listen to a specific suggestion. Choose the correct answer and narrate things in writing. So you can see on the title, it's ferry boat. What is the meaning of ferry? Here is the meaning. Ferry means transport, ship or convey. Convey means that carry the things of people or person, whatever. It can be anything. Okay. So you need to highlight the word ferry, the title itself. And next is flying. This type of word you will get in many places in English that is plying. What is the meaning of plying? Working, pursuing, using. So everyone is highlighting the hard words right in your book. It's page number 42. So what is the meaning of passengers? Travelers, commuters, customers. If you can, you can write down the meanings as well. So what is the meaning of overcrowded, overfull, congested, overloaded? Okay. So there is a lots of people, they are smiling. So this is the condition of rail from Bangladesh. So what is the meaning of, I think all of you know it very, this word and very familiar with these things. That is trip means journey to excursion. Okay. This is the hard words from our this lesson, lesson one. Okay, so now I am going to read the lesson and you will follow the lines and please mark the hard words. So the ferry boat. Is there anybody here who has ever crossed a river by a country boat? I have teacher said Jamil and I clearly remember what happened in that journey. Would you please tell us what happened? The teacher asked. Okay, teacher. It happened when I was in class 6. On a weekly buzzer day, people were coming back with their shopping bags and baskets in hands, on shoulders and heads. They had to cross the river. It was not a big river. There was a ferry boat plying on the river. The boat could cross it in 8 to 10 minutes. It was just after sunset. The weather was getting bad. The wind started blowing from the northwest. Black clouds were moving fast in the sky. So from this passage, you need to highlight the heard words like country board, baskets, plying, blowing, clouds, moving fast. And I'm going to the next para. Everybody was trying to get into the boat. No more, no more. Please wait, shouted the boatman. But no more. Listen to him. What happened then? Jamil asked Rumi. 
With too many people on board, the boat sank in the middle of the river, replied Jamil. Oh no, what happened then? asked the teacher. Thank God there were no casualties. Please underline casualties. Casualties means no one was injured. All the passengers swam to the other side, but some of them lost the stuff they were carrying such a well, salt and milk, said Jamil. Were you on the boat? asked the teacher. No teacher, seeing the boat overcrowded, I waited for the next trip, replied Jamil. You did the right thing, Jamil. So this is from the passes, page number 42 and 43. And here is some multiple choice from 1 to 6. You need to write down the answer. First, you need to read the passage more than three times and underline the hard words and read it very carefully. Then you can answer the multiple choice as well. Multiple choice number 1, a ferry boat was plying on the river. So what is the meaning of plying? I say it. Traveling along a route. Why was everybody trying to get into the boat? Because it was going to be a dark and a stormy evening. After reading the story, we came to know the thing that, okay, the boatman requested the people to wait because the boat had already too many people. Number four, with too many people on board, the boat sank. Here the phrase on board means on the boat. There were no casualties. The statement tells us that nobody died. The boat was overcrowded. Here overcrowded means the boat was unable to carry any more people. Okay, that's all the MCQ. And your next is question number C. Here is some question. You need to do it by yourself. And the question is very easy. That is related to your daily life actually. So now we will go for lesson two. But before going to the lesson two, I'm going to show you some picture from lesson one. This is the Bazar day actually in villages there is a one day a specific one day in a week there it's called Bazar day or hard day. So Jamil is the main character of the passes you can see the villagers are buying their things from the Bazar and this is the river which they need to cross. Jamil was the narrator and what he said in the story. So there was a ferry boat plying on the river. So here is the ferry boat and the boat was plying, okay. And what is what we can see nowadays on summer, this, that types of clouds actually happen, okay, over our sky. And it was just after sunset, the weather was getting worse. The wind started blowing from the northwest. Black clouds were fast moving in the sky, okay. So the uh, w w whenever it is time to daytime is 12 or 1, the, the weather or the surroundings becomes black or stormy because of the clouds, okay. This is the real picture of the ferry boat in village. So everybody was trying to get into the boat and the boatman said, no more, no more, please wait, shouted the boatman. But nobody listened to him because everyone was in a hurry because they need to go home early before the clouds or the weather is getting so much bad that's why with too many people on board the boat sank in the middle of the river i think uh, the students those who who had their childhood in the village they know they actually know how to swim okay from their grandparents from their dad from their uncle they become a learner that how to swim but i don't know actually I don't know what will happen whenever I get into this trouble, okay. So with too many people on board, the boat sank in the middle of the river and next these things happen. Because the people, those who were travel on that boat, they need to go to the heart and they had a lot of things with them like salt, weights, oil and sugar and this type of things if it's get into the river or water it, it is unable to use okay so you can see here a gr group work if you are staying at class right now we will do the group work together teacher students all together but now you are staying at home so you need to do it by your own self so take your homework copy and do this topic as your homework and whenever your school is open you must show it to your teacher the teacher I did the things whenever I was staying at home. So from book page number 44 
there is multiple choice and question answer you need to do it these things also as a homework and make it as a as an assignment you can consider it as an assignment and you can drop it to your teacher after opening the school okay and you can find the class in Kishore Batayan with lots of question and inquiries there and you can you are free bird to comment over there and I will try my best to answer over there and hope you are enjoying your class today. So happy learning. Mm -hmm.